Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about briefly about Google Sheets and how to use formulae in them. Um, not really sure what the plural of formula is. I'm a big fan of formulae with the AE, but Google's autocorrect disagrees with me. So learning objectives, we want to use Sheets to do fairly simple mathematical calculations and talk about how we can use click drag to apply formulae across many cells. We will mostly use sheets for basic math in this course. Anything that's more sophisticated than that, like taking averages, taking standard deviations, chances are we'll do that directly in JMP or jump as part of our downstream workflow. You can do it in sheets and I'll show you how to do it or one way how to do it. But uh, unless you're doing something really simple, I actually don't recommend it. So let's get over to a sample sheet. So here I have a couple different things we're going to work on here. I forgot my column though. Um, so we have six really basic functions that we can do. Uh, seven if we include parentheses, sheets of base PEMDAS. So let's say I want to take the values in this spot and this spot, and I want to add them together in sheets. I could take out a calculator or do some mental math and just tell me this is six, but instead I'm going to tell it equal. This will prime my sheet to start doing a formula, and I'm just going to click on the cell. So I want to add this cell plus this cell, and that gives me a value. Um, Google gives me an auto fill here, but we're doing something else here. I can also subtract them, so if I want to subtract this cell, and this cell, I can do that if I want to multiply them that times that. I can divide this divided. Uh, note that this is a backspace, and the previous one is a uh, an asterisk, which is a, a shift date. And I meant this is a backslash, forward slash. I don't know. It's a slash. It's a question mark. We have exponents, so this will be the caret, which is the shift six key and then we'll use this one in our course this is actually a function function so we'll type in equal uh, we'll start typing in letters here so i'm going to write log and i want the logarithm of this uh, i probably want log 10 of this because that's what we do in this course so log 10 i'm going to click this value it's going to tell me the log 10 of that is about 1.9, which makes sense. This is 85. It should be close to 2. Uh, another thing you can do is you can format. So why don't I get rid of some of these decimal places here? Because I probably don't care about all those decimals. Like 1.93, that's good enough. That's 2 sig fig. We'll get into what, why that's 2 later. But dragging formulas. So let's say I want to do the same operation many times. Maybe I want to divide this entire column by this entire column. I can type equal, click that, click that. Google will actually give me an auto suggest here. I don't know why this one broke, but we'll find out. Um, which I could hit enter to accept. I'm going to delete those. I'm going to figure out why this didn't work because I missed. We'll divide by the correct one. And then if I forget to click that auto select, that auto apply, I can just click this bottom right corner, drag it down, and you'll see that for each of these cells, it actually moves the references with the cell. So when I click on a cell and put in these little coordinates here, which is the uh, column and row of the cell, which is weird. Normally, programs are row and column, but whatever. Um, it's not weird for a stats program. Uh, the reference moves with it. Now, that's fine if I want all of my references to move, but maybe I don't. So maybe I want to, I have this situation where I want to divide this row by this value here, and then I want to do it again down here. If I were to do that same thing, if I type equal this, sorry, if I can click the right one. Okay. If I can click that divided by this, so this guy divided by that guy, I get one there. But as soon as I try to apply it across, and apply it down, I get all these wacky values. So here I get an error, and that's because my references move. So I didn't want this one to move. I did want this one to move. Whereas down here, I do the same thing. Sorry, I'll move to one that works. Well, this one also doesn't work. So here, I, it, this one has it moved because I just moved down, but this cell moved down. 
So we can get around that by locking cells or locking our references. Let's call these references. So in this case, uh, I have a great system where I have two things that I don't want to move or I want them to move differently. So when I move down, I want it to move my divisor. So I want this for only this row and this for only this row. And when I move across, I don't want this to move over. I only want this one to move over. And so we can do that by using dollar signs. So I'm going to type equal here. And as I move across, that's OK. But moving down is not. So I want to lock this reference to this row. And this is row 9. So I'm going to put in a dollar sign there. And then I want to divide it by this guy. Again, I'm OK with this moving across the row, but I don't want it to move down the column. So we're going to do this excuse me, uh, dollar sign there. Now I can do that. I can apply these all at once. And great, this looked like it worked. I do have to fix these. These are obviously copied, sorry, copied from the previous one. So this was what? This is dollar sign. We're just going to copy this. Note that I can put in these formula without evaluating them. If I put this uh, apostrophe in front of them, it's actually very handy. Uh, and then last, we do have some more complex functions we can do here. Um, I don't, again, recommend doing these in Sheets. Uh, they're much easier to apply in jump, but maybe I want to take the average quickly of some values while I'm working. I can just type equal average, select the set of cells I want to evaluate, and boom, I get an average. Maybe I want to do that again for the ST, the standard deviation. So I'm going to use this ST dev, um, but I'm going to use this dot uh, S1. And this is the standard deviation of a sample, which is what we typically have. We're not going to worry too much about the details, but jump will get this right. Jump won't give you the wrong standard deviation. Sheets makes you guess which one you want to use. So again, I'm going to get rid of these. I probably don't need any decimals on this. Um, maybe we'll put one decimal in there. And Maybe I want to do this again for column B, so I'll do equal average. And this is where it gets tedious. I have to remember that this is column B and the top one's column A. Sheets has some better, Sheets uh, jump it keeps better track of this than Sheets does. Um, and jump, there are ways to do like, I want to find the average of this based off of some identifier, but this data sheets what I would call messy data. This is not tidy, so those functions don't work here. And there's no similar function for standard deviation. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.